You're gonna need uh, extra hands for rollage. We'll make a third cut up there. Now the, this piece is gonna be a challenge to get rid of. The trees in the way, and it's a nice <laughs> Yeah. Just down that, right there, right where your hand is. Yeah, this is broken. Well, yeah, but see how it's significantly broken through? Yeah, that's why we're cutting either side of the broken. Yeah. Because well, that, that'll pinch your cross cut big time. Granted, I'm just wondering if, um, while we get somebody sawing here, somebody could, we could be working an ax down there and we could open that up. And that way we've got more hands at play rather than, it's, a, it's just, just for consideration. Yep. Um, we can get rid of that piece, the two cuts that I've marked, we can get rid of it over there real easy, but now we've got this, uh, the third cut. Well, with all of our folks, that might roll. That tree's going to stop it. <laughs> like, but it didn't have to go far. Yeah. If we might you, be able to roll it on top of that log, if, if you get it up against that tree and call it good. If you get a one hop and a skip that way, so cut out your section. And then we'll see if this moves. If it does, great, it's done. And if it doesn't, then you're in another cut. Uh, we'll use, make a cut on this piece right up here, but over there, and we'll use it as a rail. Just one part. Yeah. Don't we need to cut that out over here somewhere? Eventually. I could do that with a handsaw. Yep. And uh, yeah, then that'll get th this piece out of play. Is this broken up here? It is it's broken underneath. Oh, and it's completely free too. It's got just enough hinge wood underneath it that it's holding it up. Is that the only thing that's holding that whole log up? Oh, well, that's loose. It's not. There's no weight on it. The thing that's gonna, we might be able to rotate it around, but all this, all this. Uh, what is this? This isn't vine maple. What is this? Alder? Willow. Willow. Well, talk, verify that with Dana, but I think that's what she's been calling willow. Oh, okay. I don't see anything anywhere close. 336. Oh. So, Dana, what time are you thinking we need this? I have a headlight. Okay. You got a headlight. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. You got a headlight too. And we're how far? We're an hour in. Oh, no, hour and fifteen. We're like five miles in. Oh, so we're two two hours in. Yeah. Well, I can tell you exactly how far you in. It you... was two hours to where we first started cutting. Yeah, you've got a two three hour walk out, but but that was all uphill, and with backpackers kind of dragging you. Well, you know, just to keep you guys from. Uh, we can cut this small piece out and get a ramp ready. Oh. Yeah. And that's the thing that's all get together and cut and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that definitely needs to happen. So I'll wander up. So am I good cutting this? I'll wander yes. up to Beth's crew. Maybe you want to wander so. Sure. Okay. And uh, do you want me to stay here and stop cut here? I think. I don't, I, I don't this is under a lot of tension oh yeah i'm afraid that this is sitting on top of it so it's going to spring when it gets cut this is under a lot of tension here and i'm worried that this is sitting on it so I'd suggest uh, people are downhill, be clear of this when this thing goes pop. This is cracking and I mean, my curve closed up. Oh, okay. Should I pull this out? No, not, it doesn't affect you. It's that long. Well, no, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking this is sitting on this. Well, I don't, this won't move, I don't think. You think this will move or? Well, just, just, just in case, just, just heads up. So, just yeah. came in down to tell you we, you're 
pull the cameras out to get a obsidian arrowhead in the trail. Oh, oh. cool. Yeah. So, of course, we're going to leave it right there. But, um, but since you're closing. <laughs> So it's, it's right where pants need to come off. It's time. Oh yeah. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Hand napped. And it looks like just the tip is missing. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, maybe some of the attachment too, but clearly chipped. Clear. Okay. Where's this one going? That side or this side is pushed off this way or? Probably. Yeah. Let me get hands on it. Let me get my feet in. Put lifting. Yeah. Even you got the <laughs> kickstand here too. Watch it doesn't yeah. twist back on you. Why don't we put it down on the ground? Okay. Why don't you just put it on that log ground? Oh, well, I'm sinking down on the ground so it's. Oh, uh, it's fine. The one argument for not placing logs parallel to a trail is sometimes it can uh, uh, cause problems with erosion. Uh -huh. um, Directing water or something? Well, it could direct the water down the trail. It doesn't have a chance to get off the trail. Mm -hmm. That's usually typically downhill side of a slope kind of a thing. But I've seen some of the Forest Service guys just like, no, you can't put any log parallel to a trail. Wow. Well, the other reason too is that you got a whole bunch more trees coming down. And coming down, so you, you want to get, if you can, get stuff far away. Because and, and, and you're gonna run out of room. And the other thing is, is you could have a snowbank here, come winter, and it starts to melt, and you get a glacier effect, and it just sort of shoves the log right back on into the. So, do you want me to cut this shrub out in the back? Sure. Oh, what uh, what shrub? Oh gosh, that's so much. Not that well, I'm big. thinking we might be able, no. like you were saying, we might be able to pivot it around and just kind of, yeah, anchor it up against this pine. Spring pulls like crazy in here. There's a good man. Yeah. We need a wedge in there. We're close enough to a wedge. I have a wedge right here. I got one. You got an axe? Uh, right there. Mine's right here. Mine, act, mine's, yep, you got it. I got it, thanks. Wedging? Got it. Eyes, 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 eyes. No, no, you okay. just want to put your hand up more oh. like, oh, like so you don't Cover your me. face. I like to cover my nose and my um, uh, jaw because I figure my safety glasses are going to get my eyes. I've never seen that happen, so. I've also seen it where people will turn away, and the problem is, is, is that um, some not so safety glasses are open on the sides, and things just shoot right in there. You've seen these things shoot. You guys have both seen them shoot. Yeah, my record's 56 feet. Does right. it shoot 25 feet high? Does it shoot in the pound in or any time? I mean, uh, I've seen them spit uh, almost always on the pounds. The tree, and it's always a green tree. This guy will never spit. It's um, starting to angle up. I'm gonna go pretty high with this thing. Cut the whole backside out. Yeah. Sure. Sure.
Probably got three, four inches on the other side though. But you're getting there. Can I go down on it or like this? Sure, that's fine. Is that a good idea? All of those are valid. The The big thing you want to do is just make sure this end of the saw isn't hitting a rock or it isn't hitting dirt. After that... You also, is there any danger of getting it pinched in this? Or mm -hmm. is it? It's kind of... Is it uh, getting rough? It, it's a... Uh... I'm coming over. To help you. Uh, I've come across I've I've come around the corner on a couple remote trails and there's a saw just sitting there in a the log. Oh yeah, they just couldn't get it out. Um, oh it's actually okay. And the, 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 the big thing is is if you ever want to learn how to use an axe, get a saw stuck. But but there's also all sorts of different possibilities here. Like you see this big leaner right here? Yeah. This could go and when this goes it could dynamically affect that leaner. If that leaner falls into this whole pile, logs could be popping up all over the place and throwing. Yeah, we already tested this leaner, so it's real solid. Uh, do we want something underneath that in case the saw drops on it, on that rock? Hold one sec. Checking axe, axe is under log. <laughs> axe is okay. Saving axe. Okay, well, good news and bad news. Do you want to, uh, we got a good spring pole example here if you want to. They're 16. You guys can manage them. Right? Yeah, they, they yeah be careful. That's wiggling. Yeah. Hey, they're uh. So they were drinking beers up there. They were just kicked out. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's 92. 92. Thanks, you guys. We have a bet going on how many we're going over on, on the way back to camp. Uh -huh. Loser 92 five. from where? That's the important question. 92 from Jorn. Nope. There you go. Okay. Well, wow. thank you for counting. <laughs> um, it'll break. That's where it's gonna break. Yeah, I'll still probably make a cut right where your where the cut kerf mark is, right by your or right foot. Yeah. Maybe exit. Your call. Either or. Um we gotta get rid of this baby though. Yeah. I can be while you guys are cutting, I can be I think if, if we can get it to there and then that's gone, it'll be there'll be a path right around this in zigzag. This guy, if we try and roll it this way, it's gonna catch up on this. Well, that's why we'll cut that first off, right? Yeah, we'll make a cut down there, or you can axe whatever you want. Get some of that slabbing out, maybe. Uh, you want to do it? Well, show me how. <laughs> I'll um, step up with you. That's a Holtzbrook. That's a four-pound head. Just Sorry. swing it a little bit. 32-inch handle. Swinging? I like it. I can keep going. <laughs> I don't understand here. Do we want to start this cut? Well, this piece, once this is cut, we were thinking we could roll it back on top of this rock. Okay. Can't roll it now because it's gonna it's gonna hit up against this. So are we gonna chop all the way through this one, or are we gonna saw it part of the way? That is the question. What is the answer? <laughs> I would say saw. 
Okay, then let's get this out. I found it's really problematic to be sawn on the brake. Right. Uh, Want to keep trying to chop through it? Okay. Hey, you're getting pretty close. You're getting rid of all this stuff. See, this will come off. Dig, dig, dig a little bit out the. See this? That far side. See that, this? Uh, to that to that break right down in there. See if you can get that far side dug out by reaching around over the top. I shouldn't go this way. I would reach over the top. Looks like you're gonna hit the handle, but I guess. Yeah, don't hit the handle, please. <laughs> Also hear the saw go because it's just all those broken fibers. Just is that a change? Did it move on the head? Hmm. Looks like I moved. Mm -hmm. That's not. I thought there was more wood here exposed. No. Nope. Oh, broken part has all those broken pieces. That end up there, we might have to cut that end, uh, Mac. Oh, that thing, yeah. This will come out. But this, is this thing going to hold it up? Or? Chop it off? Or? or. Oh, it might rotate around it now. Let's try it now. Let me get out of the way first. <laughs> Although hitting it a couple times with the axe. One, two, three. We got something we can shove under it? Uh, a rock. Well, I got a rock this end that's holding it. But yeah, that's good. Um, it ain't pretty, but it's uh, pretty much part of the deal. <laughs> yeah, it's 4.30. To wait till yeah, are we going up there to talk shop or are we are we coming down here to talk shop? Well they're gonna come this way if they're gonna come Blingy. out. But uh we need the people that are camping. Like me. Yeah, we gotta decide what tools we need to bring back. The sheath is We're ready to get this another shot. <laughs> One, two, three. Does somebody Not want to adjust the rock? A little more. <laughs> okay. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh. That's it. That might be it. I think that's a winner. <laughs> that looks like an open trail to me. Oh, shoot, it's a little farther. I told you. That's how that far end was holding. Well, that one, uh, those two teenage kids and, and dads, they said when they went through our logs, there were 92 between uh, Jorn and, and that location. So there's going to be plenty of logs. I'm almost tempted to leave the ones on Blue Lake Trail because we can kind of 
gonna get to these with a day day trip. The Armin is too far for a day trip, so I think since we've gotten all the troubles to pack ourselves in, we should probably concentrate on Darmin. Long way to come in for a day Especially trip. Especially when Paul brings his mules for a day trip, he can get he can do a 14 mile day from my bed, no problem, because he'll ride in fast over this stuff and then work. And he'll he'll work here until snow flies. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, let's be generous and call that one one. How does that yeah. sound? Now here's two. That's number four. Number five. All right, so that's uh, what? Number six, seven? Eight. Seven, or eight. Seven. All right. So where is the trail here? I'm gonna be liberal and call this one nine. Yeah. All right. So number ten. And probably at least eleven. Probably twelve. There's number 13. That's perspective. There you go. Mm. Plenty of berries. What are we on? 17? This one's going to be fun to clear, seeing as how it's 30 feet of log down the trail, if not 40. Yep, there's a trail in there. Man, that looks ugly. Maybe that's 18. This looks like number 19. Or oh, probably 2021, 20, something like that. That's a single cutter. Not too big, not too bad. Just in the way. Another small one. I think we're 24, 25, something like that. Oh, I lost count. Gorgeous view though. Another one. There's number 27. Oh, goodbye. Number 28. And 29. Hiding right behind it. 30. And 31. And 32. This is cool. Oh, and 33 and 36. Now that burns. Oh, this whole area? Yeah. Well, that up there left that big green grow. Obviously, just how the wind was blowing. Blew over the top, maybe? Must have. What's that peak ahead of us? Broken top. Oh, is that broken top? All right, I didn't record 37, but this is definitely number 38. Oh, and those light stars. Uh, hopefully campsite. Okay. That one's questionable, but it's probably fine. All right. 41 and 42. Those are big guys. Well, maybe not big, big, but big enough. 43. That one's knee high. A little bit more than knee high. Almost waist high. There's 44. And there's number 46. Most of these are 12 to 16. So it wouldn't take much at all to squirt through. There's 47. And that's 48. And 
I'm not gonna count that one. That is definitely number 50. 52. Not gonna be 53. So that's 60. Boy, there was 59, a fire. That was 58, 56. Pretty amazing. Oh, did you see how that fire went through there? Yeah. Just left that island of green down there, or right out there. Just That's probably 59. Definitely number 60. 61. Definitely number 61. 62. Ignomius number 63. That one is just as a reminder note, we're skipping all these because we're making a sprint for our trail. Or for our Speak straight words hard. Making a sprint for our campsite at Joran Lake because it's getting dark and we're tired and it's time. Oh, I was gonna call this one 64. It's not, but that one down there is gonna be 64. And I think we see 65 just past it. Button's probably 65, but not much anything. It's gonna be 66. It's gonna be funny going through and editing this after the fact and finding I'm all off on numbers. 67, there's 68, single cutter. 69. That's 70 and a quick job with a rock bar. Uh, 71, something. Quick job. 72. Step over. 73. Yeah. Where were we at? The last track. I think this is 74. 75. 76. That's probably step over. But I'm going to go with. 77 because it's a little high. There's our first lake. We skip this one and Jorn should be right back. Well, that's probably Jorn right over there through the trees. So there's our first one and there's Jorn. 78, 79, probably 80, 81, 82, 80. and 83. So that count as 84. I definitely say that one's 85. This is 86, or whatever number this is. That is not going to be a fun one. That is a 24 inch. There's a little 87. It's tiny. Quick cut. 88. Eighty nine. And I think we left on eighty eight. I do believe. Was that 88 or 89? Let's call that 89. There's Jordan Lake. Were you uh, camping on the island? <laughs> uh, who brought the paddleboard? Oh, right, well, you know, if we'd been doing what we were supposed to be doing, we'd have uh, 89 logs worth of uh, raft material. Raft material. Uh, who's volunteering to carry them down here? Now there's a... There's an interesting or, uh, leaner. Luckily, we have helmets on. Let's put that into perspective as you uh, walk underneath that. If you even dare walk underneath it. That's definitely not uh, 
stock friendly. Ah, uh, so this would be uh, 91 and 92, I would assume. That might be a 93. That might be a 94. Technically, this one here on the left is in the trail, so that would be 96. Uh, 98. All right, 99. This one would make 100 then. Ish. Plus or minus however much they screwed up. And that one's not disputing the accuracy of their number because uh, something tells me you and me could probably walk this three times to come up with a different count. Probably would. 101, 102, and 103 right there. Ah. I think I said 102 and 103 for that one, and this one's a double. Two logs of goodness. So let's call this, this one 104. 105. There's 106, 107, 108, 109, 110. Well, these guys are big ones. One eleven. One twelve. One thirteen. One fourteen. One fifteen. One sixteen. One seventeen. That's big. One hundred and eighteen. Still going.